All right, guys, let's talk about how high we ought to run your handlebars. Now, I'm not gonna give you an empirical, this is the way it needs to be for everybody, but instead, I'll give you a couple of pointers, tips, and things to contemplate, things to think about as you try and get your setup dialed in. First up, a lot of the setup here is gonna depend on a couple of factors, including what bike you're riding, how long your arms are, your personal preference, what trails you're riding, and what your goals are out there. If you're looking to climb the steepest stuff ever versus go down the steepest stuff ever, you might have a little bit different setup. Much like I talked about in the where to position your levers video, this is gonna be very similar. I'll give you a couple of ideas, things to start with, and then we'll go from there. First up, right out of the box, the bike should be set with a little bit of space to adjust on the steer tube up and down. And what I mean by that is that I have a couple of these headset spacers underneath my stem. I should also have a couple on top. Now straight from the manufacturer, that is a wonderful thing because I can adjust it up or down. I can also adjust it based on what the rise is on the handlebars. Now this particular handlebar is an NVM6. It is set at a 20 millimeter rise. Some riders need to go with a little bit higher rise bar. For example, if you have lower back problems and you don't want to bend over as far, good idea to run a high rise bar or set your stem up a little bit higher on the steer tube. Others need to run a little bit lower. That might include a cross country racer who needs to get the most efficiency they can out of their bike. Turns out, further over you are to a point, the more efficient you can use your glutes and other mega muscles. However, too far over puts you in an uncomfortable position. When you're uncomfortable, you're just not having fun nor going fast. So find the balance. If I am intending to go down some of the chunkiest stuff ever though, I will tend to bring the handlebars up. For example, Ritmo over here is running quite a few spacers underneath the stem. That's because that bike usually goes in some pretty crazy places. I could also run a little higher rise bar if I wanted to bring it up even further. Too much stack height through here just looks really weird. And it puts excess strain on the steer tube, which that steer tube's fine. You don't have to worry about it. It mainly just looks weird. Handlebars are a really good place to go if you feel like you're running too much stack, say 30 millimeters, 40 millimeters, 50 millimeters or more then you might just say, all right, I'm gonna run a little bit taller bar to get the upright position that I want. But let's see what that position looks like when I'm actually up on the bike. So, in an attack position, you can see that I'm fairly balanced. My weight is centered. I'm not too far over the front. If this bar were this low, that would be really awkward. But I'm also not up here feeling off balance as well. Now I used to run my handlebars substantially lower, but I found that I tend to go guns out, elbows out, much more so that I've actually had to bring my handlebars up to keep myself balanced on the bike. Now that creates some problems when I'm going up something really steep, but you just lean forward. It's a little uncomfortable, you have to literally pull yourself forward on some of the climbs that are insanely steep, but it's worth it to be in an effective, balanced, safe, fast, all of those good things, position going back down. Find the balance that works for you. Again, I'm totally here to answer questions as well. So if you wanna send pictures of you on the bike or just say, hey, I'm not sure about my setup, totally send me whatever you got. Happy to help. Get out there, have some fun, experiment with different stuff. If you're unsure on how to do it, stop by your local bike shop, They'll give you some ideas on how you can adjust your stack if there is any more adjustment to do, or if you need to get a taller or flatter set of bars. In any case, get out there, have some fun, ride hard and ride safe. We'll see you next time.